Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. Eclipse is a popular integrated development environment, IDE, for Java development. Below, I'll provide a step-by-step -step guide to installing Eclipse for Java development, along with a simple code example to get you started. Hashtag 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 step 1, download Eclipse IDE. 1. Visit the Eclipse download page, go to the official Eclipse website, Eclipse Downloads, https colon slash slash www.eclipse.org slash downloads. 2. Choose the Eclipse IDE for Java developers, look for Eclipse IDE for Java developers and click on the download link. 3. Select the appropriate package, choose the package that matches your operating system, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. 4. Download the installer, you may see options to download the installer or a zip file. It's usually easier to download the installer. Hashtag 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 step 2, install Eclipse. 1. Run the installer, once the download is complete, run the installer. 2. Select Eclipse IDE package, when prompted, select Eclipse IDE for Java developers. 3. Choose installation folder, choose a location on your computer where you want Eclipse to be installed. 4. Select Java development kit, JDK, make sure you have the JDK installed. If you don't have it, you can download it from the Oracle JDK website, https colon slash slash www.oracle.com slash java slash technology slash java z hyphen jdk 11 hyphen downloads dot html or use an open source version like open jdk 5 complete installation click install and wait for the installation to complete once done you can launch eclipse hashtag 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 step 3 Set up workspace. 1. Launch Eclipse, open Eclipse after installation. 2. Select workspace, when prompted, select a workspace directory. This is where your projects will be stored. You can use the default or choose a new location. 3. Click launch, click the launch button to start using Eclipse. Hashtag 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 step 4, create a new Java project. One file new Java project, from the top menu, select file new Java project. Two project name, enter a name for your project, example hello world. Three click finish, click the finish button to create the project. Hashtag 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 step 5, create a Java class. One right click on SRC, in the project explorer, right click on the SRC folder. 2. New class, select new class. 3. Class name, enter a name for your class, example hello world. 4. Add the public static void main, string args, option, check the box that says public static void main, string args. 5. Click finish, click the finish button. Hashtag 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 step 6, write your Java code. In the newly created hello world.java file, you will see the generated code. Below is a simple hello, world, example you can use. Hashtag 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 step 7, run your Java program. 1. Run the program, right click on the hello world.java file in the project explorer. 2. Select run as Java application, choose run as Java application. 3. View output, check the console view at the bottom of the Eclipse window. You should see the output, hello, world. Hashtag 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 conclusion. You have successfully installed Eclipse, created a Java project, written a simple Java program, and run it. Eclipse provides many powerful features such as debugging, code completion, and project management tools, making it a great choice for Java development. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask.